Hello everyone, Carol Undy here with another tutorial for you and I've had a question about echo stitching. I just recently did a video on this and the question was could, uh, could you create echo stitching that would fill a square for a quilt block and the answer is yes you can and this is how I did it so if you watch through you'll see the process now the first thing I'm going to do I've got a design here just one out of the software so we can demonstrate the procedure and the first thing I'm going to do is create a, a square to represent the quilt block and it's going to be filled with just ordinary step fill for now so just select your rectangle tool and if you hold your control key down it will um, make sure it's a square rather than a rectangle and just create it to the size you want when oops I'll have to escape to redo that I slipped <laughs> so you need to keep your control key down until you've got your bottom corner then release and left click click and you'll get your square now if, if you muck that up and it doesn't create a square um, down the bottom here you'll see your width and height and I have got one 182.6 by 182.6 but if not you can just select and go to the general um, select it and right click and go to the general tab and type in the dimensions of your square okay now the next thing I'm going to do is you can't see the design underneath so I'm going to move this to the top so I'm going to select it so I need my select tool and it will automatically select because it was the last thing that was digitized and on our color film we've got this little red arrow that says sequence to start so I'm just going to move that right to the start okay now we can see both our objects I have not ungrouped the design by the way um, so if you've brought a design in don't ungroup it and it's probably a good idea to actually if you have created your own design to group it before you start with the rectangle because what I want to do now is center these two designs align them centered so I've got the rectangle selected and I'm going to hold down my control key and select the other design and so now everything's selected and then I can come down to my align tools down the bottom left of your screen and it's got one called align centers so left click on that and that will put your design perfectly in the center of your quilt block okay now what we need to do is create a hole in the quilt block because we don't want uh, echo stitching to be underneath the design now um, when you create your echo stitching it'll ask you for an offset and the offset c will go from the edge of the hole so if you create your hole too big around here you're going to have a really big gap because you'll have the gap where you created the hole and the further offset which I usually use about five millimeters on a large um, design but it's up to you how many um, what distance you have between the um, lines of your echo stitching so try to stay fairly close but you don't need to actually outline the exact design um, you know just stay as, you know within a couple of millimeters so my suggestion is to have your rectangle only selected come over to sorry I'll just select that on its own and then your add holes will be available so left click on the add holes and then zoom in and you can do that with the wheel on your mouse okay and then you just start clicking around your hole as closely as you can to the edge and so I'm just going to go like the, we are zoomed in so that's just a couple of millimeters away from the edge and you don't need to be too finicky about the details just roughly around so I'll just um, pause this video while I go around to add all the digitizing lines for the holes for the hole I should say okay so I've clicked right around left and right clicked around the shape of the design and then pressed my enter key to close the gap between my first and last click and then I pressed enter again to actually create the hole so you can see there's a hole right around the design let's just go to one show all and there you can see that I now have a big hole in my design alright now 
the next thing to do is to select your rectangle again. Uh, sorry, I've still haven't got my select tool. Let's just get my select tool. And so my rectangle is selected again and you can see the hole quite clearly there. And we're going to go to the outline design tool. All right. And we're going to check the box that says outline holes. So this is going to outline the holes and we're going to put a negative figure. If we have a positive figure in the offset it's going to be um, outline inside the hole. We want it to outline outside the hole. So with a negative figure, and I've put minus four millimeters but you could have minus five millimeters, in fact we'll go minus five millimeters um, Six millimetres is a quarter of an inch for those of you working in inches, so if you could have minus a quarter of an inch. And I've put 25 because I've already had a practice at this, but you need quite a few if you've got a big quilt square. So you might have to undo and redo a couple of times just to get how many um, outline counts you need. Um, and as I said, the outline holes is checked and I'm just using a single, but you could use a triple run as well for this depending on how heavy you want the stitching. So I'll just change that to uh, minus five. Okay, and then go okay. And it's actually created the lines but you can't see them. So I'm just going over here to the film strip and go show all objects and you can see all those lines there. Um, but what if I, if I go select now, it will select the last object I created which was all the lines. As you can see they're all selected and I'm just going to change the colour. Now of course I've only got the colours in the design, I'll just use the dark green. And you can see those clearly now filling that whole area. Now it's up to you whether you want, you can now um, either just delete the entire brown area or if you want a line to signify the edge of your quilt block for cutting purposes or whatever, then what you do now is click off the um, green outlines, the echo stitching and select your brown shape and then you can make that an outline rather than a fill. Okay, and it's a single outline as well. Just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to make it a satin because not only did it create an outline on the, around the edge, but it also created a, the outline that you created for the hole. So if you need to get rid of that, but you want to keep the outside one, you'll need to break this apart, I think, because I don't think I can select that. Oh, I can. I can select that separately. So I can just delete that. And that's got rid of that whole outline that you did. And the outside one, you can change to a single outline again if you like so that you can um, just use that as a marker for cutting or that could be your stitching line and then you would cut a quarter of an inch out for your quarter inch seam or you could um, add a quarter inch expand this a quarter of an inch um, in your properties so I hope that's helped you um, and particularly the person sorry I haven't got your name I've just been so busy I'm just doing what I have to do at the moment um, so I hope that's helped you and um, happy digitizing don't forget to subscribe to me um, if you like my videos so that you don't miss any and we'll see you in the next one